Are they glass, metal or plastic? The truth is, they're all three at one stage or another, and we'll show you how. In 1981, Japanese and Dutch scientists invented a device that would revolutionise the music industry. They had produced the compact disc. Today, these ingenious devices store millions upon millions of bits of data. In the office, studio, home or archive, the CD has become indispensable. The production of compact discs has to be carried out in ultra-clean environments. Any dust particles can wreck the process. Compact discs are copies made from an original glass master disc. Now the real work begins. A thin plate of glass has the chosen information, in this case music, written onto itself using a right laser beam. Once the information has been transferred, two chemicals are applied, a primer and a photoresistant coating. The disc is delicately retrieved from the apparatus. Then the photoresistant coating dries in an oven for 30 minutes. This developer has two spouts. One applies deionized water, and the other sprays a solution to develop the data etched on the glass. The information is now engraved on the disc. The disc is placed in this metal coating equipment. The next step consists of applying a thin coating of nickel and vanadium. This electroforming process results in the master from which discs will be made. The etched glass is immersed in the chemical solution for 70 minutes. On removal, this disc will be the master die, from which all copies are made. The die is then stamped out into the desired shape, with any excess material being used for recycling. The master is taken out, and a technician peels off the film which protected the data etched onto the die. Following a visual inspection, the die is sent to the pressing department, where the die is delicately installed into the mould which will form the compact discs. Discs are made from a special plastic called polycarbonate. The mould is closed and liquid polycarbonate is injected into the die. Once set, it comes out as a small, hard, translucent disc. The disc is now ready to be metal coated so that it can be read by a CD reader. A robotic arm lifts the disc from the mould and places it on supports. Coating the disc with metal is an extremely short and simple process. It consists of covering the plastic disc with a very thin coating of aluminium. This is the inside of the mould where the aluminium coating is applied. In an almost totally automated process, a factory can turn out 100,000 discs a day. Protecting the surface of the disc is essential, so a coat of varnish is applied, which also allows the silk screen design to stick well to it. Ultraviolet lamps quickly dry the varnish. And here in the pressing room, they apply the silk screen label. 70 discs can be embellished in just 60 seconds. And once the silk screening is completed, the finished discs leave for packaging. Simple, really.